We have Steve the Dean Williams on the phone. Steve, how's it going on? Steve with us. Steve, are you with us, Steve? Come on, Ben. What's up, Ben? Well, Steve, Steve uh, might have dropped off. He, Steve got us. No, can y'all hear me? Uh, oh, right. Steve, you're back. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I was just saying that joint. She sound pretty hot, man. You know, <laughs> real smooth, like cocoa yeah, butter. Yeah, no, what's going on, guys? Um, we're doing all right, Steve. Yeah, that's a real uh, a smart, intelligent woman woman right there, Steve. Well, well, since we're on the subject, Steve, how would you would you um, once again? This is Steve Williams. He's from the School of Dating dot com. He is a relationship expert, Steve. What and sex. type of <laughs> Steve, what type of approach would a person use to to um, talk to a, a woman of, of that professionalism and, and intelligence? His stature. His stature. Oh, okay, well, here, here's, the, here's the problem. Uh, the problem is you're trying to separate the herd. You're trying to separate <laughs> church from state. The problem is, is that at the end of the day, she's a goddamn woman, all right? And you don't need to do circus tricks to impress someone like that. You really need to be a man. You walk up to her, you introduce yourself, you shake her hand, you don't use a pickup line. You say, hey, how you doing? My name is Steve. Um, you know, I would love to take you out for coffee or something like that, you know? I know you're probably busy right now. I don't want to hold up too much of your time. Here's my card. You call me. From this point on, guys, you never accept a woman's goddamn number. That is the killer thing that a lot of you guys do. Because the thing is, can I, can I break that down real quick, guys? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, I, well, I check this it. out, guys. Get your crayons out. Get your All goddamn right. crayons out. Let me break this down. So check this out. See, you got to understand something. When a woman is dealing with a man like me, I'm giving her attention. I'm giving her dick. I'm doing the whole nine. But a lot of women are very emotional. They want, you know, to feel good about themselves or, you know, maybe me taking them out to dinner when it's not even warranted. That's where the humans come in. You see, you guys go around meeting women all the time, and, you know, they give you their number, and then you're running behind them, uh, calling them, blowing up their phone, uh, begging, pleading, cupcaking, handcuffing. You don't need to do that. When you are a man and you have women or you know you can get women, you become the prize. So, look, call me because that throws the whole thing off a of kilter because a man who ha- – think about this, guys. If you had five women in your uh, stable, okay, mm-hmm. would you care – if she called you or not, you wouldn't. You Man, would, here's you the wouldn't best thing about, about it. 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 And here's the best thing about it. And I'm always I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. See, back in the olden days, guys, when everything was in black and white and stuff, when women lived, when women had like morals and shit back then. The thing about it is, women used to have a handkerchief. And the thing was, one would drop a handkerchief near a guy, he'd pick it up, and then, so to speak, like a courtship would start off. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing, guys. If a woman likes you guys, what is she going to do? She's going to do something to get your attention. She's going to call you. I'm saying, up, if you gave her your card and she was interested in you, she would oh, call yeah. you. She's going to call you, yeah, definitely. But so, yeah, yeah. so this simplifies everything where you don't have to sit there and say, what if? Does she like me? Do we have to keep calling her and bugging her and mm. blowing up her phone to make her feel good about herself? You Just don't putting need to a do ball that. on her, men don't her act hand, that way. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, don't think women don't like dick, guys. Women like dick more than we do. I mean, they love dick. I mean, not that we do. What the hell am I saying? I mean, you know what I mean, guys? Women <laughs> yeah, love we... dick the way we love pussy. Let me rephrase that. But the thing is, is that a woman will call you. Don't get it twisted. If she's really interested in you, she's going to make a move. Well, Steve, um, we have a question from out of the chat room. Uh, Lindsay1827 from New York asks, do all men cheat? I won't say all men cheat, uh, but you have to understand this. All men love, well, most men, we would say 95, 98% of men, where you have the soft guys, the humans, betas, and the homosexuals that don't like women. Uh, the thing is, ladies, that uh, men won't cheat, but if the opportunity presents itself, most would. I won't say all of them would, but most would. That's why I always try to tell women that they can never have male friends because that guy that's with you right now, he wants to sleep with you. He wants that ass. You know? Thank you for and, oh, well, yeah, but here's the thing. Was her name is Lindsay. Lindsay, and, and I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I wanted you to do this with all your guy friends. Offer him the, offer him the ass. 
say, you know what, you can have this ass. Nobody will know. Y- you know, I know you're in a relationship. Because here's the thing. A lot of people nowadays do that group thing. You know, husbands and wives are hanging out with it. You know, they all hang out Smoking together. Out. Yeah. Go ahead and offer that husband or that or your girl's boyfriend some ass. And I guarantee it, nine times out of ten, he'll take it if he doesn't get caught. Mm-hmm. But he's supposed to be your friend and everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. whole, whole thing shit one time I heard uh, I think Chris Rock said it best he was like a, he's like men only cheat to the extent of the opportunities available to them uh, always and I, always. I felt that <laughs> interesting I mean guys let me ask you a question yeah, you, you're with the woman not to say I mean I'm not trying to get y'all in trouble or anything like that but yep, men yep. don't get in trouble but anyway but if Kim Kardashian or some hot piece of ass why did she say hey you know what you can have this. We'll go get a hotel. I won't say nothing. You can destroy it. You can blow my back out. It's all yours. You can have it right now. And don't say no. We won't tell nobody. I won't. The paparazzi won't know. Your woman won't know. You can have this ass right now. Come on, guys. What are you gonna do? Now I don't know if your women are listening to this shit, but you know we we talking men talk. So who would you now, do? Now, would you say the, fu- the funny thing about that, Steve, is somebody of a kim kardashian stature though i i would think that at least 50 percent of the women out there would not mind they i don't i don't think that they would really hold that against you what would they expect you to do well, no, hold it. i'm just saying i mean i'm saying if you were with a woman and kim or a hot i won't say any think of your hot think of a hot woman that you really would love to nail she came up to you tapped you on the shoulder and said i want that dick i want that dick and i won't tell anybody it will be our little secret. You have it just one time, and nobody's going to know about it. It'll be our secret. Would you do it? So you think the statistics are about 98% of men would do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically uh, we don't need it. All right, never mind. You answered my question. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> okay, Steve, we have another question from the chat room. Tyshawn from Philadelphia asks, what's your advice on dating women with kids? Okay, that's a great one. The thing about dating a woman with a kid is you're not dating the mother. The thing you need to focus on is the kid. The kid is going to tell you everything you need to know about the mother. Uh, the, the problem is is that a lot of guys mess around. Now, again, I always tell guys, you know, you can nail a single mom, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't play daddy to some kid is going to tell you you ain't my daddy like 15, 20 years from now trying to challenge you and shit. But if you have a woman that has a child that is an honor roll student, uh, you know, they make a good grades, they're real, they have manners, uh, you know, just to have a lot of great qualities to them, that's a good woman right there. Because if you knock that woman up, you will always know that she's going to take care of the kid. You know what I mean? She's not going to dump the kid off of grandma's or Aunt B's house or wherever. So what I would tell you, young man, is look, Go date the mom, hang out with the mom, but watch the interaction between the mom and the kid. If she's cussing the kid out, saying your daddy ain't shit, you ain't shit, you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to dump the kid. If, if she's doing those type of behaviors, you need to go head to the hills, man. Bad situation. Now, Steve, I got to tell you that um, you could take this act on the road. He's like, it's not an act, though. Tell what act? Steve. It's not an act. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, what? 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 <laughs> Oh wait, wait, hey, hold on. Can I act for a second? Wait, wait. Let me let me do an act. Here I am. Let me, um, this is uh, Steve the Dean Williams in Shakespeare's Being a Human. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, honey, for being a man, and I apologize. And well, what, what can I do to make things better? And here are my balls, and here's my spine, and I'm so sorry. Okay, there you go, guys. That was my acting role. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are talking to Steve Williams from the School of Dating dot com. Steve, can you just give your final parting shots and, and your contact information once again? Yeah, uh, you can reach me at www.schoolofdating.com. Uh, we have, like I say, we have a live radio show. We have uh, podcasts, videos, free video boot camps, live dating chat uh, chat site. Uh, we've got a lot of information for guys who really want to know what it means to be a man. I definitely went on the site, Steve, and um, you know I, I see some, I see some information up there. That's all I'm gonna say. You got some nice shots, nice pictures right on the front page. Um, so you know, I just want to go ahead and uh, co-sign that people definitely need to go to that website and check it out. The School of Dating dot com. Well, Steve, uh, thanks for calling in tonight. Thanks for being with us. Steve, all right, thank you guys. Next time.